All right, so we have another Lego education unboxing. Uh, we recently got this one for our five-year-old, Violet. Yes, she's going into um, first grade in the fall. And um, this year we've been doing um, kindergarten homeschool with her and she finished her kindergarten math curriculum already that we were using. So we were kind of looking for something that we could do the last um, two months or so of school that would maybe be kind of fun, um, but also educational and maybe just taking her to that next step. So even though she's only five, um, we decided to try this. So it's called More to Math. It's a, we purchased the combo pack. So it's called More to Math um, 1 to 2 for first and second graders. And it's the combo pack. So this here that we have is the portion that comes with all the Lego pieces. So it's 520 pieces. Yes. It's, if you buy it separately, it's $60, I think. And if you buy it with um, all of the software and curriculum and the pieces, that's the combo pack, and that's one eighty-seven. It's worth, yeah, I would say it's worth noting too that this is the software. So they didn't provide a CD; it's a download. Um, we covered up our our activation code here, but under here was a code. We'll go onto the website and and actually download the software. So it's not. It's. Uh, I think they consider it a consumable. It's not something that you can resell or pass along. Once that activation code is used, it's tied to you and your computer, and that's it. Right. All right, and so this is the box from Mortar Math. Let's cut it open and see what's inside. Just the sleeve on top. Is there anything on the back? Oh, see, here you go. So this looks like the parts list. Um, looks like there's some minifigures, a brick separator. A variety of... This looks like a brick list as well, but it's a uh, sticker, so oh, it wonder. may be... I wonder if they go in the bottom of these. Yeah, I'm wondering if it fits into the bottom of the tray for keep helping them stay organized. That's pretty cool. I know our kindergarten can help with <laughs> that area. Here's all the pieces. They're just an assortment of parts. I think probably to help with like counting, right? Yeah, so a lot of this curriculum is based, you know, counting. Uh, pattern making, recognizing patterns, recreating symmetrical images, some just basic, um, just kind of core mathematical foundations. A lot of it is uh, based around Common Core and STEM education ideas. So you, in fact, on the website for LEGO, they even have the specific Common Core standards that you can use the LEGO set and apply it to those standards. So if Common Core is something you're looking at for your classroom or for your homeschool, um, this is definitely something that you could probably fit into that. Yeah. So I'm really excited to try it and see how she does with it. Yeah, I'm excited to see how she does too. Sorry, I stopped picking up the bags because I remembered that these bags are really noisy with the microphone. <laughs> so I'm sorry if that's already been the case. I didn't want to have that um, over Andrea's voice. Um, Stay tuned for, we'll, we'll definitely have a video after we um, introduce the, the set to our, our kids with the, with the lessons and we'll just sort of walk through, we'll walk through um, how the lessons went, some of our thoughts and reflections on it. Um, definitely leave us a question in the comments if you, if you have specific questions or things you are curious about, we'd be happy to, to uh, conversate and communicate with you guys. And uh, subscribe for more because I think we're also going to be posting fairly soon here a follow-up to our Simple Machines unboxing. Um, we've actually started those uh, LEGO Education Simple Machines with the kids. And so um, we're going to post videos for each of those lessons and, and describe them and talk about how they went. So stay tuned for that. Thank you. Thanks for Bye. joining. Bye-bye.